the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Command Line Interface or OCI CLI is a small footprint tool that you can use on its own or with the console to complete OCI tasks. The CLI provides the same core functionality as the console along with certain additional commands such as the ability to run scripts which extend the console's functionality. The CLI is built on Python running on Mac, Windows or Linux. This lab will walk you through some examples using the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure CLI or OCI CLI for Exadata Cloud Service. Before we proceed any further, make sure you have access to an OCI account with privileges to create Exadata Cloud Service databases. Also, have access to a pre-provisioned instance of Oracle Cloud Developer Image from the OCI Marketplace. Let's begin with step 1, that is connect to the development client instance and verify OCI CLI version. Now to ensure that OCI CLI is installed in the correct version that is needed for Exadata Cloud Service Database, let us SSH into the dev client host. Once you do this, check version with OCI hyphen hyphen version. Now the OCI CLI version needs to be 2.5.14 or higher to support Exadata Cloud Service database commands. Moving to step 2, that is configure OCI CLI. This step describes the required configuration for the CLI and includes optional configurations that enable you to extend CLI functionality. Before using the CLI, you have to create a config file that contains the required credentials for working with your OCI account. Now to have the CLI walk you through the first time setup process step by step, use this command OCI setup config. This command prompts you for the information required for the config file and the API public private keys. The setup dialog generates an API key pair and creates the config file. Once you run the above command, you will need to enter the following details like the location for your config file, your user OCID, tenancy OCID, region, directory to store your keys, a name for a key, and other such details. Majority of this information like your user OCID and tenancy OCID and region can be found on the console. If you wish to go forward with the sample structure displayed, press the return key. As we know that the OCI setup config generates or grants you a private public key combo, you must add it to the OCI console. To add the public key to OCI user setting, open the terminal, navigate to the folder containing your key, that is your public.pem key. Then call the contents of this key file using the cat command. Copy these contents onto a notepad. Log in to your OCI console, click on menu, select identity and users. Under user, navigate to the user detail page. Select API keys and go to add public key. Here, you can paste your public key and click on add. Once you have added the key, return to your terminal and use the command OCI setup autocomplete. Now that you have set up OCI CLI, let us look at a few examples of using this with Exadata Cloud Service Database. To start with a simple command, let us first list the databases. For this, open your CLI interface and run the following command to get the list of databases in your Exadata Cloud Service. Use OCI DB database list with your database system ID, that is your OCI ID, and your compartment ID, again compartment OCI ID. We will now see a list of databases 
that exist in your Exadata Cloud service. Let us create a database. Here you would need one information handy such as the OCID of the database system ID. Once you have that, open your command line interface and run the following command to create a database in your Exadata Cloud Service infrastructure. Please note that the database name can contain only alphanumeric characters. Lastly, let us delete a database in your Exadata Cloud Service infrastructure using the following command. Make sure you give the correct database ID here. Let's verify the same from the console. Congratulations! You are now familiar with basic steps of using OCI CLI.